In this video, I'd like to show you how to find materials in archives and special collections using OneSearch. Before we get started, let's first take a look at how we catalog our collections. We catalog materials two ways. Books are cataloged using bibliographic records created specifically to describe printed materials. These include most of the records that you encounter in OneSearch. Other materials are cataloged using finding aids. Finding aids are documents, often several pages long, that consolidate information about a manuscript collection. Information such as acquisition and processing, provenance, administrative history, a biographical note, the scope of the collection, organization, and arrangement, and an inventory of the series and the folders. Collections of varied materials, such as personal papers, are typically donated by a person or an organization and are a record of their day-to-day -day activities. Since collections often contain several varieties of format, such as letters, photographs, regalia, clothing, and art, finding aids allow us to describe the variety of formats found in manuscript collections. We catalog our finding aids in archive space, which is piped into OneSearch, allowing users to find materials across all of the library's collections. Let's start by searching Japanese internment as the keywords, which we can then narrow down to books and media CSUF. This guarantees that I'm only getting results for materials that we have in our library. On the left of the screen, we can see that there are ways to narrow down these results. There are two ways we can search for materials featured in the university archives and special collections. The first is to select Special Collections and Freedom Center under Location. This allows the user to search for print and manuscript materials. The second way will locate manuscript collections only i.e. finding aids, and can be found by selecting Archival Materials under Resource Type. The first set of results, searching by location, includes print and archival material. The status line indicates an item is in special collections, or you can request it using the title and call number listed here, or by selecting the item and using the Request option for us to pull the item and place it on the hold shelf. Now we will clear the Locations filter and choose the Archival Materials filter. This item, Japanese American Internment in California, is a collection of materials in special collections. It can be difficult to distinguish between the main entry and the rest of the collection materials. The top hit is usually the collection level. Choose that one or the specific item you are interested in exploring. Immediately, you will notice that this is not a typical bibliographic record. It has a scope and content note that describes the collection, donor information, and a link that allows you to request from University Archives and Special Collections. This link will connect you to Archive Space, where you can see the finding aid in its entirety. The main section of this page contains administrative information, the scope and content note, bibliographic note, and subject headings. On the right is a collection organization frame from which you can use to navigate quickly around the collection. You may also use the blue Collection Organization button to see the entire collection at a glance. The Filter Results search box is a handy tool for quickly scanning the collection using keywords or subject headings. If, for instance, you're interested in seeing Seiko Ishida's photo album, you can select that item for more detail. It is stored in Document Box 5. When you visit the Reading Room, you may request this item by identifying the collection, Japanese Internment in California, and item in Document Box 5. Another option for requesting this item is to select this Request button. Fill in your name, your email address, when you plan on visiting the reading room, and we will place it on the hold shelf. Please note that during Fall 2020, all requests for materials will require a research consultation with the archivist to determine whether we can digitize the materials for you prior to scheduling an appointment in the reading room. Please check the UASC webpage for current information on reading room policies. ArchivesSpace also has an option to generate a PDF as well as save the finding aid to your device from the main collections page, also called collection level. Another way to explore our finding aids is to select collections at the top of the page, which will generate a list of 78 finding aids in alphabetical order. And last but certainly not least, use the citation button at the top right to generate a basic citation. As always, Please check with your instructor for the style guide they prefer and follow those guidelines for citing primary sources. Thanks for watching and have a great day.